Hello and welcome to your seventh scripting tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning what returning is. But before I show you what returning is, I just want to quickly show you what comments comments are in scripts. So if you look closely you can see me typing like a double dash. That is how you start the comment. And then you can basically write whatever you want in it. Um, a comment is something is yeah, a line of code that well not a line of code, but it's something that the script doesn't read. So when the script is reading all the lines of code, so print, print, um, it won't read this comment here. It will just skip right past it. So you can write whatever you want in here, and there will be no errors with the script because it won't actually read it. And you should see it also turns up in green. So yeah, when it's green, you can tell that it's a comment. So that's how you do single line comments with a double dash. It's basically, basically just used in huge scripts where there's lots of yeah, but it's lots of code, and you don't, and you need comments to help you read the code better. So, say there's a big line of code that that gives a ton of tools to players. So you just write a comment that says, "gives tools to players" or something. So, those are single line comments. This is how you do a multi-line comment. You just do, oops, you do a double dash, then a these bracket things the straight brackets. So that's how you do a multi-line comment. Um, yeah, that's how you do multi-line comments. So you can write for as many lines as you want, like that, and then you close it off by doing that. And then you can start writing normal code. So you open it by doing double dash and a double bracket things, and then close it by doing the opposite brackets. So yeah, that's how you do a multi-line comment. So they do come very useful. You will be using them later on in the tutorial series. So yeah, you'll find out more about comments later on. But yeah, for now, I'll be showing you what returning is. So returning is used in functions. So first, let's create a function then. So you learn you learn how to create a function in the previous tutorial. So let's create a function called hello. End it, and let's call it. And let's make it do something. Print hi. Okay. So here we've just created a function called hello, and all it does is it prints hi. And here we've called it. So let's create a comment saying calling the function. Okay. So we've just called the function here. But what about returning? So first, let me show you how to return in a function. All you've got to do is type return and then the value that you want to return. So let's return 10. It can be anything. Okay, so you're probably confused now, but this is how it works. Um, basically what it does is when you return a value from a function, then it gives you that value here. So let me show you first. Let's print the function hello. If I were to just print the function hello, like this, I've called the function inside a print function. So if I was just to print um, the function hello and it didn't have a return, so let's take the return out, it didn't have a return, then it would return nil. So it would, it would return nothing. So let's go ahead and. Yeah, so you can see it's, it's not done anything, it hasn't returned anything. So I've tried to print, I've tried to print this function here but it hasn't returned anything because it's no return value but if I return 10 now when I try to print this function it should print 10 yeah here we go it's printed 10 and also high because I've called the function as well but yeah you can see that it's printed 10 and that's because the function has returned 10 to this print function here okay so let me just take higher. So yeah, what it does is, it when you print the function with a return, um, it runs all the code inside the function. So say I, I print high all these many times. What it do is, it would print high four times, and then it would return ten to this print function here. So it'd be just like printing ten, except I printed ten with the function. So yeah, if I went and returned 20, it would print 
hello, you know, hi, four times, and then 20. So I don't expect this to make sense straight away. It does seem kind of confusing, but yeah, that's what that's what returning does. It just returns a value. It can be any value. You can return text. You can return a string as well. You can return something called my string. Yeah, let's return a string called my string. I spelt it wrong. So yeah, we've printed hi four times, and then we've printed my string because the function returned my string. Now, you don't also you don't just have to um, print the return what the function returns to you. You can also set it to a variable if that makes sense. So let's create a variable called my variable. Yeah. And let's set the value to zero. Then let's let's return a hundred. Let's set my variable to five. Okay. So first let's print my variable. What this should oh, I spelled it wrong. What this should do is it should print the value in my variable which is five. So all this this little bit here should do is it should print five. Now let's set let's set the va the value of my variable to now remember how you can set values of a variable to anything. You can set it to an integer value, you can set it to a string value, you can you can set it to a boolean value, so either true or false. What we're going to do is we're going to set we're going to set the value of my variable to whatever this function returns. So let's go ahead and, and set the va value of this variable to the function hello. So what it's going to do is it's going to um, it's going to call this function here hello. That's what it's going to do. It's going to print hello hi five four times, and then it's going to return one hundred to this place here. So we're just substituting the word hello for the number 100. So doing this would be exactly like saying my variable equals 100 because we've just returned the value of 100 to my variable. So let's go ahead and print my variable again and we'll see what the difference is. What it should do is it should print 5 first because that's what the value of my variable is, 5. Then we're setting the value of my variable to 100 because we've just returned 100 to this variable and then we are going to print my variable again so it should print 100 here and 5 here so let's go ahead and see what it does okay so you can see how first it prints my variable which is 5 then it calls the function hello which prints hi four times then it sets the value of my variable to 100 then we just print my variable, which is, which has the value of 100 now. So yeah, that's what returning does. Then, if it doesn't make sense, then it's best to just watch it over and over and over again until it does make sense. And then also, it should also take practice as well. Just keep practicing returning things to variables. So yeah, that's how you learn how to script. Just it takes a lot of practice. Uh, watch the video and then try it and keep trying until you learn it so we can also return yeah text let's return the word text just to show you so it should print 5 and then we're setting the value of my variable to the word text and then it should print text so I press play yep it's printed text and lastly we can set it to a boolean value so let's return true we've returned true we're going to print 5 set the value of my variable to true well, after printing high four times and then we're going to print the value in my variable which should be true and look at that true so yeah that's what returning is then just keep trying keep practicing um, yeah keep practicing making functions with returns and you should be a pro at it soon. Okay, so I'll see you in the next tutorial when we're going to be le yeah, one more, there's one more tutorial about functions and then we're going to go into different stuff. So yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial then.